Hello, welcome back to Serious About Salvage. And we have definitely got a salvage car today, that's for sure. Um, I've picked up another Fiesta ST. Um, Mark 7 ST180. Always the same story with these cars. They're always stolen, recovered, no keys. And this one is no different, but this one has had one hell of a whack on the front. And oh, it looks terrible, doesn't it? Looks terrible. Um, it's pretty much what I saw in the pictures. Perhaps not as detailed as this. Um, I kind of forgot it was going through and didn't realise until about 10 minutes before the auction. So I had a quick scour, scour through the pictures. Didn't really see everything in all honesty, but the price this car went at, I just couldn't, I couldn't refuse it. Now, like, like I said, this is my fourth Fiesta ST. Um, I checked back on two of, the, two of them that I bought from this same place. Um, this is a 14 plate, well it's a 63 plate 2014. The black 16 plate that we had in that corner that turned out to need the ECU, that was the most expensive. That one was 4100 plus fees. Uh, but it was a 16 plate and it only had like 27,000 miles on it. And very little damage like a wishbone wing, bit of a crack in the bumper, you know, very little damage. But it was a non-runner, no keys. Um, the other one, I think the 15 plate blue one, I think was, I think it's a 3-1 plus fees, so 3,100 plus fees. Um, I don't remember exactly the damage on that now. But this car, um, the hammer price was £1,850. I think that's insane. Um, like I said, it's an early one, 63 plate, so 2014, but it's only got either 44 or 45,000 miles on this. Um, I can't check for, for 100%, but its last MOT was only in February, and it only had 43,700 then. Uh, so only like two months. And I mean, the actual salvage date of it going into the yard was the 11th of March. And I think MOT was 22nd of February. So it was only two weeks after its MOT that it was put in the yard. So yeah, it's it's probably, probably very high 43,000 or low 44,000 miles. Um, so it's nothing, is it? I think at 1,850 quid, no matter what turned up, I was never gonna lose out a lot of this car. Um, so yeah, anyway, the car came today and I had a quick look around it and I was getting a bit worried that it wasn't gonna be fixable, so I have done a couple of things just to look into to make sure that we could proceed with it um, and I'm going to fill you in with all that now. So the main issue was the driver's top engine mount uh, was broken, completely, completely broken. As you can see I've took it out now um, and I'll just grab it. This, this is the engine mount. Now that wasn't the concern, the engine mount wasn't the concern, the issue was the actual um, plate that it fixes to, which is part of that, and I'll grab it now, this piece, um, which orientation is it, it would be, it would be like that, and it would bolt onto there. I didn't know if these could be removed, because as you can see there it's broken off. I didn't know if these could be removed or if they were part of the head assembly and obviously if it was part of the head then it would need a complete new head and in that scenario I'd probably either break it for parts or put it back through auction but it turns out they can be removed, they incorporate the sewing eye there and yeah that is the piece. So that means obviously we can replace this and then replace the engine mount and that'll put our engine back in place. Um, so like I said, this is why I've got the covers off um, for that scenario to find out. Um, now obviously with it, with it off, the belt looks great. I mean, I'm not gonna say it's new, but at the same time, I'm not gonna say it's the original anyway either. I'm not gonna say that's, that belt's eight year old. Um, up top, there's nothing else really to tell you about. 
Um, no, not really. I mean, the gearbox side mounts are fine. Um, yeah, everything else up here is okay. Now, obviously, the whole front panel is absolutely destroyed. And as you can see here, it's hit that... Um, where's the torch? There it is. Uh, uh, front crash bar. Hard. And it's done its job. It's, I think it's hit some kind of post and then it's gone up over it. Um, but believe it or not, the chassis leg is okay. I've had a good look at it. The end plate's a little bit bent round at the bottom. You can just see it there, bottom right corner. But the leg itself is okay, which is unbelievable. And yeah, this looks, you know, really bad. But bear in mind, full rad pack with front panel and crash bar and intercooler. They're like 150, 200 quid for a second hand one. And that sorts all that out. That's all like the issue's gone, you know? So this looks a lot worse than it actually is. Um, which is why it's gone for such a low price. I mean, even the headlights are okay. Yeah, they've snapped the front tabs. The front tabs are snapped. But I've got my hot stapler, I can fix them, no issue. Um, both headlights are fine. Snap that tab there, but again, it's fine. Even the front wings are fine. They haven't moved. Nice gap. That wing's not moved anywhere. Again, with this one. Nice gap, the wing's not been pushed back. You can see it's broken off the inside of the bumper and it's still on the wing, but the wing itself, I've looked at the leading edge and there's no damage to it at all, which is incredible, really. Unfortunately, there's a tiny bit on the bonnet. I mean, I don't know if you can see it, it's just a bit, see that there, a bit bent over on the end. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do with that right now. Um, but the main, the main thing is with this is, like always, no keys. We can't test this engine. Um, so obviously a couple of checks we can do. Um, if there's oil in it, I'm gonna be reasonably happy. We can turn it over by hand. They're the two things that we can try today because this car also has all the airbags blown. I'm not too sure if these um, have a pyro fuse or not. In, in basically what I'm trying to say is I'm not too sure if when the airbags blow, does it cut power to the engine bay? i.e. turn the engine off. Obviously there's a series of fuses on this power to, on this um, positive terminal and there's one on the negative. Um, so we could, we could just put a, a meter across them and have a look if any of them are blown. But the main thing is gonna be getting this engine, new engine mount and bracket for the engine so then it's sort of sat back on in place that minute it's on, it's on, a, it's on a jack. Um, and get some keys for it. Because obviously I don't want to pile too much in it until I know that it runs. Now underneath, I've obviously been under there, but I can't, I can't go back under now for you, I'm afraid. Let, I'll tell you what, let me get a mat, the mats. I'll, I'll get under with torch because there's a lot going on under there. And unfortunately, because the engine sat on that um, jack, I can't lift the car up. Let's just see what we can have a look at. Because there is issues I want to tell you about. Uh, right, so mainly, um, the main issue is that oil cooler there, uh, auto oil water exchange is absolutely mullered. And as you can see, it is damp, so it is leaking oil. But it's, it's above sump level, so the sump should still be full. Um, which like I said, we're going to dip it, but if look at oil filter, it's absolutely mullered. So we need to obviously re rectify that before we try and run it. And um, the water pipes don't matter. I just need an oil water exchange and an oil filter for the time being. There's, there's numerous pipes. I mean, even look at the, um, that's icon in it. Oh, is it power steering? Uh, it's, uh, I must say it's aircon. Aircon pump. It's got a big hole on the bottom of it. So we're gonna need an aircon pump. But like I said, all these bits I don't wanna get until we know it runs. 
uh, that's that's the main thing. Um, I mean, there's no again, there's nothing else under here. This car looks way worse because of the mess on the front, because of how bad this this rad pack is with the um, the air con condenser and stuff. All the air con pipes are going to be knackered. You can you can see them even up. I think up at the top, the the knackered. And obviously behind the rad, the actual fan housing, we don't know if it's done anything to the front of the engine yet. Um, but it's you know it's popped. Can you see the drive the drive shaft right at the bottom? It's more the drive shaft because the engine was sat on the drive shaft on the subframe because obviously the engine mount were done. So that probably gonna need a shaft. Strangely, the wheels haven't been pushed back. The same on both sides. The actual um subframe hasn't moved the wheels haven't moved we do have some kind of steering issues because that wheel is turned um and the engine has gone far enough back to hit the steering rack and broken the steering rack so it needs a steering rack and a, a rack end on this side that i know of so far you know what i mean like i said there's a lot of unknown still uh, but before we delve too deep and start spending money on it, I need to make sure it runs. Uh, in terms of the rest of the car, I mean, this passenger front tyre is flat and there's a chunk on the alloy that's bent. The rest of them are all right, in all fairness. Yeah, there's this curbing, but um, I mean, they'll clean up and they'll go again. Uh, like I said, all the airbags have gone. Windscreen smashed from the airbag, they always do on these Fiestas. Passenger window is smashed. Um, lock's done, which they always do. I mean, whoever owned it must have had a steering lock on it as well because they've cut the type of steering wheel off. So, so I need a steering wheel. Uh, <laughs> uh, they are fun, these um, stolen recovered cars. Uh, so this is an ST2. And it seems to have a few options on it that I don't recall seeing on other ST2s. Uh, auto lights. I don't think I recall that. Or maybe, I don't know. No, I don't think I do recall that. And also, obviously they're all keyless go. This one's got the keyless entry button on it. I'm sure the other ones didn't have that, the ST2s. Um, if anyone is in the know, uh, let me know. I mean, I think... Whoever's had it has, 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 lo has loved it, do you know what I mean? Because they've put a lot of little customizable little red trims around everything in the centre of the dash. Uh, it had... Ow, oh, that steering wheel's just cut me. It had um, a splitter on the front. Half of it's still left on this side with a red trim on. So I think they've, uh, they, it's been loved, hasn't it? It's been someone's pride and joy. Uh, on the rest of it, you've got bumpers popped a bit, which that'll pop back on. I'm not worried about that at all. Can't get in the books, we've got no power to it. Um, I popped that side skirt off, so don't worry about that. Again, it, it's, it's a clean car. Not the usual filler caps towards the back of the hole. They're all like that. They're all like that. It's weird. It's weird. I mean, you can't even... They don't slide... No, I'll end up breaking it. They're all like that. Honestly, everyone I've had has been like that. Uh, so, yeah, if anyone recognises the car, or if it's yours, speak up. Like I said, unfortunately, I've got no keys, which I'm going to have to get in touch with my key man for. Um, yeah. Like I said, it looks far worse than it is, but it was definitely a bit touch and go, like I said, when it got here. So going forward now, like I said, what we're going to do, um, I mean, like I said, we can check a few things. Now, let's just dip that oil, because if it's got no oil in it, I'm going to start getting upset. So we're not going through the same scenario as the RS5, are we? Hopefully not. Uh, it's clean oil. I mean, it looks like it's got plenty in it. Just clean it off. So there's nothing on there now.
Let's bear in mind the engine's probably not flat either. Yeah, it's it's over minimum. Heading towards middle. So it's got oil in it. And the engine is too high on this side because I've got it jacked up so it's it's got more than it's saying actually, which is good. Um let me see if I can just get this ratchet down onto I mean oh, it's a bit difficult, I'll try. Oh yeah, it's on. Uh, sorry if the camera's a bit shaky, it's a bit difficult doing this one hand. See if it uh, I hope you can see that. Yeah. It's turning over. Yeah, and it turns over quite, I mean, this is only a small ratchet, just for, for size comparison. And I can turn that over by hand, so I'm going to say, and it doesn't feel like it's got any tough points except for compression. So I'm going to suggest that, so far, I think this is going to be okay. You never know with these stolen recovered keyless ones, with no keys. Um, you never know. Um, I, I mean, other than, I don't think there's much point in having a scour around inside it in the hope that there's any keys in it. Um, I mean, there's, there's all sorts of the park, parking ticket. Hmm. <laughs> also, they paid that. The usual place where they, uh, Get them started. It's it's obviously minging in here. They've been making well I think we all know what they've been making in here and smoking. Um there is hand books in here, but I have had luck and there's no service book unfortunately. Uh, I mean there's no reason why we can't put some power to it and see what happens. Worst case, we might get some mileage up as long as the alarm doesn't start going off. Or is it? I can't attempt to start it because it'll say no key, I would have thought. But let's just put some power to it and see what happens. No, there's nothing. There's nothing in the battery, that's for sure. Right, I'm really sorry, this is so annoying. Um, just as we we're about to try and start it then, my battery ran out in my wireless uh, road mic, my wireless mic. So the rest of the part of the video didn't have volume, so I'm having to redo it. I'm having to redo it, so I've done all this already, but we're gonna have to go and do it again, I'm afraid. So let's just do it quickly. I know all the answers, but I'd rather go through it. And the, the volume, well, I, yeah, the volume is gonna be a bit different in the rest of the video because of the difference between using the onboard mic on the, on the GoPro and obviously using the wireless mic. So I do apologize about that, but it's better than playing the rest of the video, I don't want to do that. Um, the video with no volume. So let's do this again, just for your viewing, viewing pleasure. Um, so we've got power. Let's have a look inside. So there we go, there's the mileage. And it is uh, 44, 287. Nice low mileage, and if we try to press the button, it comes out key not detected. So that's telling us the key's not in the car, and even if it was, it's not coded to the car anymore. So that, oh, it's got the ambient lighting in it as well. Uh, or is it, yeah, it's got the ambient lighting in it as well. Okay. So 
This has got some options, hasn't it, I think? I'm sure I've not seen the ambulance, unless it's just one they've stuck in themselves. I don't, it feels standard. Yeah, uh, so right, there we go. So we've got 44,257, I think it was, miles on the clock. So yeah, license, license, low mileage. So, there's not really anything else we can do. Um, I mean, I felt it warranted its own video just to go over it and show you what I'm up to with it. Because of the, you know, the amount of damage on it. And um, it, yeah, it's about creating a story, isn't it? It's about creating a story doing these videos. And it does look so bad just to look at. But I think, you know, we get that bumper off, all that front panel off, and you get rid of all that mess, new engine mount, and it won't look that bad. So, I mean, now obviously going forwards, the next step is gonna be getting that engine mount, getting my key man out, and dealing with the, the water oil exchange and putting an oil filter on it. And the next step is then is to run it. And if we, if we run, we're all good out. We can proceed with all the other issues with it. And the main thing is to prove that engine's good. And we turn it over by hand, that's all fine. Um, we've dipped it, that's fine. So, I mean, it looks like it's gonna be okay to me. I don't see anything else that concerns me. So I think, yeah, I mean, that's all we can really do today. We can't go any further with it without some parts and some keys. So, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm excited about it. I'm far happier now, obviously, like I said, than I was when it got here. Now I've seen that I can change that engine mount. And, um, yeah, I think let's get some parts for it. So, as always, I think uh, a massive thank you for watching these videos. I hope you've enjoyed it. These guest trustees always do well on the channel. They get a lot of attention through YouTube. They're the, uh, they're the boy racers choice of, of um, car, aren't they? Always sell easy, never have an issue selling them. Especially with this kind of mileage on. Um, but yeah, if, if anyone knows of the owner or... Uh, I mean, we're not allowed to ask to, to search out owner, but if they come to me, it's a different scenario, do you know what I mean? Um, I've had it in the past quite a lot, people see the cars on YouTube. Or a friend of a friend tells them that the car's on YouTube, blah blah blah. And this one's quite individual, isn't it, with the red stripes and the stuff. I mean, if it was yours or your mates, you're going to know. It's, it, it, it's, it's not exactly like the standard one that you'll see driving around. The red bits are going to stand out. It's like, go on a minute, not our ah, minute, our ah, minute, <laughs> my minute. Do you know the red bit, red strip and the red little bits at the bottom? Makes it a bit more individual. That's what this would have been like. You get bit, bits of red on it and the dash. Um, so yeah, I think that's, we're going to have to end it there. There's nothing else I can do. I am quite interested in knowing if there are options, so the keyless entry, the um, auto lights, and the, um, what they call them, lights inside. Comfort lighting, is it something? I can't remember what the name of it is. If they're standard. I can't remember seeing them on the other ST2s that we had. They're all keyless go. I don't remember of me and keyless entry. I thought that was only an ST3, but this is an ST2. I've checked the sticker on it. It is an ST2. Um, did they even do the ST3s from the beginning? No, this is an ST2 spec'd up because they didn't do the ST3 right at the beginning. Right, so this is an early one, 63 plate. Uh, I'm just blabbering on at this point, Anna, so we're just going to end it there, I think. Uh, like I said, sorry the volume, um, the voice kind of has changed uh, halfway through. My battery ran out. I'll get it charged ready for the next one. And um, yeah, as always, thank you very much for watching these videos. Massively appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, click that notification button to be notified of the next video when hopefully we'll get this car running. And yeah, fingers crossed, should be a good one. But yeah, I think mega cheap. If it runs, it's going to be the ultimate bargain in my eyes. Really good buy. Thanks for watching. Cheers, I'll see you in the next one.